Welcome back. We continue our primary election coverage tonight. Now with a look at a race that a lot of eyes are mm -hmm. on the newly drawn third congressional district. Two Republicans are vying for their party's nomination in this race. Our Jamie Sherrod is standing by at the watch party for challenger John Gibbs. But first, we're going to send things out to Michael Martin, where Congressman Peter Meyer is hosting his own watch party right now. Michael. Max, Josh, yeah, that's right. We are here in downtown Grand Rapids in front of the Social House restaurant that's right next to the Van Andel Arena down here. We are preparing for that watch party, expected to start right around 8 p.m. We've seen folks walking in and out with signs, flags, speakers, that sort of thing as we reach the 8 p.m. hour here. And of course, hopefully we will have more with Congressman Meyer at that time. But this race, as you mentioned, this is Re Congressman Peter Meyer going up against fellow Republican John Gibbs, who has been endorsed by former President Trump. Now, he even worked in the president's administration while Meyer has led in fundraising dollars. And it's also worth noting that Peter Meyer was one of just a handful of Republicans who voted to impeach President Trump after everything that happened on January 6th. Now, whoever takes this primary vote will go up against Democrat Hillary Skolton, who is running unopposed post on her side of things. Democrats have not had a representative elected to Michigan's third congressional district since the early 90s. Now, with the recent redistricting, as Josh and Max were just mentioning there, now most of Kent County and Metro Grand Rapids are included in the same district as the Lakeshore. Congressman Meyer cast his vote around 7 a.m. this morning at Forest Hills Baptist Church. We were able to speak with him briefly about how he's feeling going into Election Day. I think it's important that we have somebody who is willing to do the hard work, but also tell the truth and be straightforward and honest with the people of West Michigan. That is what I've committed to do. Uh, that is what we have done so far in office. And, and that has led to some unpopular decisions at times, some difficult votes. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think the people of West Michigan deserve nothing less than transparency and honesty from their elected officials. Signs and flags are going up at Social House here just behind us. You can see there is energy starting to arrive in the air. So as those votes continue to be cast and they start to come in this evening, it will start to get quite a bit more exciting here downtown. For now, though, live in Grand Rapids, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.